If you'd like to speed up your typing and you find yourself using Google Docs, whether it's for journaling, uh, business, just random, whatever you're using Google Docs for, then voice typing might be a way to do this. Now, there's one important thing that you need to remember here to use your voice, you have to have a microphone. Uh, so I'm going to assume that you have that. If you don't, just realize, I gotta say it, you need a microphone. Um, all right, let's kind of get into this and it's relatively simple. So what you want to do is of course, open up Google Docs, I'm already there. And you come in here to tools and voice typing. You can also use the shortcut control shift S and we're gonna click on that and you can see right there, you get the handy little tool tip, click here to speak. And if we click on that, you can see it's already working in the background. Now, something to be aware of is if you haven't activated this before, you're going to get some pop-ups, the usual stuff asking you, do you want to authorize it just this time, every time, do whatever you need to do for myself. I trust Google Docs. I don't think it's gonna misuse my microphone. So I allow it all the time and then go ahead and go with that. Now, what happens if I click again? Uh, there we go, we see it stops and I can go in here and start editing. So let's do this and uh, do a little bit more. Hey, I'm Adam with Productivity Academy and this is an introduction sentence. All right, so pretty basic, but you can see how that works. It's relatively simple and super handy. Now, what do you wanna do if you want to use some editing, you know, instead of just having it purely do the text it hears? Well, we can come over here and I will include this link, but you've got a lot of options um, that you can do. So, you know, if we come in here, we can uh, correct mistakes, for example. You can move your cursor and fix it without turning it off. Um, there's a lot, you can add punctuation, okay? So we could add periods, commas, exclamation points, things like that. Um, you can also select text, you can format your document, um, you can apply a heading, um, apply a normal text, apply subtitles. So let's just try one of these. Now a really handy way is to make sure you look at uh, voice commands and go into selecting the text because if you want to do something to the text, you need to select it. And this will be very helpful. Otherwise it can be very confusing. So for example, select all would probably do what you think it is selecting all the text. So you might want to use something like select a line, uh, select paragraph, select next paragraph, things like that. And then you can do something on top of that, like make bold um, or highlight. So let's try that. This is Adam. Select a line, bold. All right, there we go. So I'm not gonna go and go through all these. That's a lot of commands, but you can look through these and see what you could do to make this faster. Overall, I think I could probably go through and by hand do it, but maybe if you, for whatever reason, wanted to format things and you maybe, I don't know, your hands hurt or whatever. But I think for now, it's probably faster to just go through and do the voice to text and then go through and format things lightly. Uh, but again, this stuff will only be improving. And I think that this is a great thing to work on and to get used to doing. It can allow you to really get a lot of content out quickly. Um, and from the productivity standpoint, I like it. It's faster and sometimes it's nice to just do a brain dump or get things off your head and then you can take it and clean it up format it add some bullet points whatever you need to do hopefully this will help you with voice typing in google docs if you have any questions or comments leave it below and i'll get back to you